Sport has always played a central part in human activities throughout the world. After all, we all need it to survive. Over recent years, food consumption has created an increasing strain on the Earth's resources. Oxford is known for its world-class education, its dreaming spires and heritage in motor manufacturing. There are 165,000 people in Oxford, and together they consume 130,000 tonnes of food per year, spending in the process of £450 million. It takes around 530 square kilometres of agricultural land to feed Oxford. This is the equivalent to an area extending 13 kilometres in every direction, from the centre of the city. Oxford's food system uses 398 million tonnes of water per year. This is the same volume of water that takes eight and a half months to flow down the River Thames to Oxford. Oxford uses a total of 6.6 .6 million gigajoules of fossil fuel per year. To buy this amount of energy in barrels of oil would cost around 70 million pounds. Oxford emits the equivalent of 380,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide per year. This is the equivalent to double the annual emissions from all of Oxford's cars. Based on our estimates, Oxford has the potential to reduce its land footprint by 40%, which is 21,000 hectares, and also to reduce its water footprint by a further 99 million tonnes per year, or 25%. Provenance does not have a significant direct impact on food prints, but it can be important for other reasons. People will take action because they think it is the right thing to do. However, reducing your food print can also be the smart thing to do. Some of the most effective actions to reduce food prints can also be healthier and save money, like eating less meat and more veg and reducing food waste. Many of the factors we traditionally associate with caring for the environment start to morph into practical ways to reduce risks for our businesses, our communities and ourselves. Reducing the energy footprint of the products your company sells will reduce your exposure to the fluctuation in the price of fuel. Sourcing food locally from known farmers can reassure both the client and the seller that the food is safe, good and what it says it is. Relying too much on water is a risk factor, since water shortage will lead to lack of supplies and rise of prices. Based on our estimates, Oxfordshire has 25% more than enough land to feed itself with a slightly changed diet. When it comes to food, we should be weary of taking chances. Food printing Oxford shows us how we can start to understand and manage some of those risks. There's no one solution. Different things work for different people. By calculating the impact of your decisions, you can make sure your actions really count.